Hey there, how's it going? My name is Lindsay. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. Today I'll be sharing with you everything that I picked up in store at Walmart for this week. It's mostly snacky stuff, produce, and then quite a few non-food items. My husband and I are trying to be on a little bit more of a health kick lately. Um, I put quotes around it because we're not like going really gung-ho on it, but we are trying to work in some healthier decisions when it comes to our snacking and um, food that we eat. So I'm gonna show you everything that we got in just a minute. I actually do have a meal plan for this week. So let me go ahead and share with you everything that we'll be having. Yesterday was Monday and we just had chicken and rice and some roasted vegetables. On Tuesday, well today, we are gonna have shrimp ravioli. Tomorrow for Wednesday, I am gonna put a roast in the crock pot and just have that over some of the leftover rice from last night. We like our roast over rice. Um, I like it over potatoes too, but I think I kind of like it over rice a little bit more. Now that's all I'm really gonna be cooking for this week because on Thursday, we're gonna have leftovers. Um, Friday, we're gonna eat out. I have an obligation Friday night, so I won't be available to be here and cook. On Saturday, we are probably gonna order in since it is football season and Saturday is football days for us. So we like to order in and watch the games. And on Sunday, we will probably have leftovers again. All right, now let me get you flipped around and finally show you everything that we got. All right, here is a quick little overview of everything. It's not much, it's mostly snacks and produce and then really quite a few non-food items. Uh, I'm gonna start back here like usual. I did get an 18 count of the variety little snack chip bags for the kids' lunch boxes. For chips for myself, I ended up going with these Quest uh, tortilla style protein chips. I picked up the chili lime and the ranch flavor. I went ahead and tried the chili lime. It has a good bit of spice to it. Um, now these are definitely not like a complete replacement for chips, like they're, they're not totally the same as chips. When you first bite into them you might think so, but then once you get going and, and it's like towards the end, they get that really powdery, you know, protein type feel that a lot of foods like this do. So if you're trying to make healthier choices, I do recommend this for the flavor and somewhat of the texture, but just know it's not like 100% a Dorito dupe or anything. But if you wanna work some extra protein in your diet and still need to be snacky like I do, then they are worth a try. I got this big pack of sugar-free Jello for Rob. He likes to have this. Um, well, he hasn't had it in quite a while, but last time we did like kind of a, not necessarily a diet, but just we're trying to be a little bit more mindful about our snacking. He liked to keep these on hand, so I went ahead and grabbed a big pack of those. I got another four pack of the Nusa vanilla bean um, yogurt for myself. And then I also wanted to try these Kind Thins. They're the dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. For a cold ice cream treat, I did grab a box of these Yasso uh, sea salt and caramel Greek yogurt bars. And then I did get a thing of the Sargento balance breaks that I get almost every week. I got some Slim Jims for the kids' lunch boxes. I mentioned before, it's kind of hard to find a protein that stays good in their lunchbox throughout the day up until their lunchtime. Thankfully, I've got Raymond back on ham sandwiches again, um, but Ava's been a little bit more difficult and she will eat these. So I'm just doing what I can and grabbed another box of those. I got two cups of the Too Good Blueberry Greek Yogurt for Rob. We needed another bag of cheese. So I got the Mexican style shredded four cheese, a couple packets of au jus gravy for the roast that we're gonna have this week. And then I don't remember if we've tried this Kinder's fajita blend um, or not. I wanna say we have but I have liked everything that we've tried in these little seasoning packets so far by them. Um, and I have all the stuff to make fajitas on hand, so I figured I'd just grab this to try. For cereal, I did get my husband's usual shredded wheat, and then I decided to grab this for myself to give it a try, the Premier Protein cereal. And I'm sure it's gonna be like the same thing as these chips. It's not gonna be just some super delicious, chocolatey cereal like cocoa pebbles dupe or anything like I'd want it to be um, but it does have a lot of protein in it 20 grams per serving 
but this box is absolutely insane like it's an offensive price this is seven dollars for a single box of cereal so even if i like it that will definitely not be something that i get every week because that's just not for produce i got three bags of frozen vegetables i got two just regular cut green beans and then i got one broccoli carrots sugar snap peas and water chestnuts i did get a couple crowns of broccoli a bag of avocados and then just another package of corn on the cob because the kids have been loving this the last food item i got is this two pound thing of kaneka sausage i'm going to make something for a halloween party that we're going to with this for the non-food items the kids needed some more mouthwash so i grabbed them that Rob needed another box of the nighttime Theraflu, so I got that for him. This week is spirit week for my kids. And I bought another shirt that's not here because Ava's wearing it today. It's neon day at her school, and so she's wearing it right now. And then tomorrow is neon day at Raymond's school. They go to different schools. And so I got him these shorts that were on clearance for $6. And then I got this shirt to match that was also on clearance for $6. And then these, are not for spirit week i just knew that ava would love them they are like a velvety feel with these colorful stripes going down and they are stretchy little bell bottoms and she just likes fun stuff like that so i grabbed those for her and she does love them and then the last thing that i got is just this little like face sparkle stuff from wet n wild when i grabbed this i assumed it would be maybe three dollars at the most because it's just this little tube a face glitter and it's wet and wild they're supposed to be like the cheapest brand and this was almost six bucks this little thing of cheap face glitter from wet and wild so i wouldn't have bought it had i known it was that expensive but we have it now whatever ava ends up deciding to be for halloween maybe we can use it or she can just use it to have fun she likes to do her makeup sometimes on the weekends um so we have that now okay and that is it that is everything that i got for the week and i will leave the total across the screen right here all right you guys that is going to do it for this week's grocery haul i hope you enjoyed if you did please consider giving it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already i hope you decide to stick around and do so and to see you in my next one bye